Ziggy's been trying to cover up his fruit. I had to go rinse it out because it was full of sand. And we brought just enough for him. So now we had to take out the tarp that was underneath the, the tent so we can make him eat without putting sand in it. But he's refusing to eat it. We're waiting for some hot water. We're having some oatmeal. Erica made a mix and it's going to be delicious. Mine's got raisins. Hers has cranberries. And then we're going to enjoy the rest of the day until we have to leave. So let's... Doesn't that look good? There's oats, cranberries, chocolate chips, cinnamon, and coconut sugar. Mm. And a bit of salt. I'm so hungry I can't wait. My daughter always picks these up because they're so easy to bring. Oh, did I just do that? To bring camping. And they don't have to be refrigerated. That's another good thing. But we didn't bring a lot of stuff that needed refrigeration. We pretty much ate everything except for the tofu. And I do have some saddle left. Hopefully that should be still good. Yes, those black flies are relentless. Well, there you go, guys. Breakfast, and then we're going to go and explore a little. JJ, you going to eat, or are you going to pass out on us? Why is he looking at us like that? I bought these bags on Amazon. And there's our food. I put the hot water. And what's good about it is that you close it up. And it gives the oats time to, uh, thank you, uh, we give, it gives the oats time to um, pulp up on you, so it's not as dry. Since we're not cooking it over the stove, we're just going to seal it in with the hot water, and that's going to be perfect. Erica, you should put some on yours before the water cools off. This is my spoon. How pretty is that? I want to show you my arms. I don't know if you can see it. They've been bitten up. My eyes, the corner of my eyes. Okay, guys. I just caught a squirrel doing this to my back. Do you see this? Where are you, you little rat? He's on the tree right now. Yeah, he's making noise. He's upset because we took the bag away from him. And this is what he did. He was getting into our chocolate. Holy moly, what a terror. Squirrels. I mean, how did they know? He just saw food. Because you can't smell this. How can, they're smell proof, these bags. I can't believe he did that. Okay. This is simply delicious. And what's good about these bags are you can reuse it again. Are you fighting the squirrel, Chichi? You could just bring them home, especially if you don't seal them, because these ones here, if you're storing food away for long term, you will take like a curl, uh, not a curling iron, a straight iron. And you would press it against here, and then that would seal, and then it's good for like 25 years in here. Um, but we didn't seal ours because we're going to bring these back home and fill it up again for another time. Don't mind my nails. Oh no, Titi. There's a squirrel. Look. Yeah. He's upset. JJ. I think I have some... Uh, some black tape I can tape it up what a rat if we didn't if we didn't spot that we would have had a, a squirrel on crack she would have eaten the chocolate all right guys good idea if you ever go camping and you want to make little packages of food that is either dehydrated or you all you have to do is rehydrate you just uh, get yourself some of these bags I'll put a link for you really good they come in different sizes we have small ones and big ones but really good to have all right guys i'm gonna eat my oatmeal
And then I'm going to go see what that squirrel's up to. Never leave, never leave home without it. This should hold up that little rack for a while. I can't believe... Oh, there's your peanut butter, Erica. You want some bread? So that's JJ? Again. Hey? Is that JJ making those sounds? No, it's a squirrel. No, listen. It's a squirrel. Mm -hmm. That's JJ. It's a squirrel. JJ. JJ's not making any noise. I can't believe she freaking ate through my bag. All right, fixed. We got our, oh, we did make our pancakes. Make it for lunch. Oh, yeah, we do that. I brought flour. Mm -hmm. Not pancakes. We're gonna make uh, bread. flatbread, and we could put our peanut butter on it. <sighs> ah, the things that we have to endure when you go camping. Pesky, pesky squirrels. <laughs> oh, okay, it looks used, bear. right? Eh? Said, at least it's a squirrel and not a bear. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Alright, so we found a trail that was right next to our campsite and they allowed dogs. So we are going to do that right now with JJ. Bring him for a nice little walk and if we see something nice we'll show you. Look at that. That's another. They're all along the path here. All the. And those must be right down where the river is, too, eh? Yeah, probably. Beautiful. And this is the trail we're doing where we could actually take Chi Chi with us. Otherwise, some of the trails, they don't allow it. It's La Piste de Loup. I'm not sure how long we're going to be able to last on the trail because JJ didn't want to eat today. Oh, look at this one. This is, a, this the, is um, like a yurt, a yurt-type yurt tent. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like a, I think it has like a sink and stuff yeah. on it. Oh yeah, the, all the yurts are on this side. That's pretty cool, eh? Fun. So this is something to look into for the next time. Hey, yeah. we could do some glamping. Just bring yourself, bring your food in. Fun way to just bring yourself and your food and just find a, and get to your little cabin or hut or they have some of the most beautiful places up here you could rent. They even have tree houses. Hatopias, Lucia. And you park. <coughs> Went down my throat. And you park here. Look. A little protein for me. I just. I just swallowed a couple of black flies. more places with huts around here. How cute. Okay, we have to cross the road. Come on, Chichi, we gotta go fast. And we're back on the trail. Sorry, guys, I'm always shaking, eh? All right, if you see something nice, I'll show it to you, I promise. Coming over a little 
Did you? You tired, baby? You want to go back, Gigi? Hey, Gigi, you want to go back? Are you okay? Can you still go? Mommy, I'll carry you if I have to. No. We didn't think that this was going to be such a big loop. Obviously, it's a very... Okay, so if it's a very long loop, we might not do the whole thing then. Because so, he's getting hot and he's got no food. Well, if you guys don't like black flies, I would definitely say don't go into the woods this time of the year. For sure. So this takes us to the discovery. No, I think we're going to turn back. Okay, so basically, yeah. Yeah, uh, we'd have to turn over here. You actually turn and you go into, if you go around that bend, you pick up the trail again. But uh, uh, Chi Chi has no food in his belly and we're not going to push it for him. But what a cute trail. Come on, Chi we're going this way. Come on, Chi Chi. What a beautiful loop, though, eh? Well, well we didn't do the whole loop. Uh, this is a very long trail. Uh, we did it on the other side, and we didn't even do the whole trail. Come on, Chichi, we gotta go. Good boy. Uh, the last time we were here, uh, we did this trail near the Discovery uh, near the uh, Discovery Center. You could pick up the trail there. We, we walked to a lake. Yeah, we went to a lake from there. Yeah, but if you continue that trail it would have t it would have taken us here but i think we did enough for jj we're gonna go back maybe he'll eat some more maybe he'll actually eat some food and uh and eric and i maybe we'll have some fruit we have a nice cantaloupe that we can eat it'll rehydrate us because it is hot Today is, I think, 27. 27 Celsius. So it's nice and hot. It feels like a summer day, that's for sure. The only break we get is when the sun goes down. If there's a cloud that covers the sun. Otherwise, it is scorching under the sun. I'm going to pick him up a little. Come, JJ. Mommy's going to pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, my little doggy. Oh, you got that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a lady. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful this is, guys. They have a place where you can park your cars. So this way you don't have to bring it onto the property you're renting. And you know what's good about these places? There's no cell phones. None of that. And this is a good way to just recalculate yourself. It's a good way to Heal your soul. A lot of us work hard every day. And we really don't make time for ourselves. We're busy with our families. Even if it's just for one day. You don't have to. And I'll tell you something. We did camping on a campsite. And it basically cost us, what, $30 a night? Yeah. And we only came here for one night. We do have it for, like, basically, you know, from 3 o'clock until, like, a 24 hours. But it feels like two days when you're up here because, you know, there's so many things you can do, places to go, places to see. Well, but, come beforehand, was like, what do you call it? Come on, Gigi. Oh, here. Come on, Gigi. See, you can bring your bikes. 
We didn't bring ours because we left Erica's at her country place. So we didn't bring the bikes because we just wanted to come here to kind of relax. Look at the robin. But it's a good way to unwind. You don't have to do like a whole week. You don't have to do a weekend. You could do it for one day. You just grab your, you know, especially if you rent something like these, uh, these little cabins or huts back here. Are more They're more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Like where you don't have to worry about having to put up your, when you uh, here, your tent. You don't have to arrive just at three o'clock. Yeah, you, you could come, come earlier. earlier. The park. That's right. You could come during the day, early in the morning, explore the park. There's so much to explore up here. They have great hiking trails. Uh, some of them are difficult. You could get from difficult to easy, but uh, just to kind of regroup yourself. Just to regroup yourself. I think it's all. The, I think it's very important that we all do that. And then if you come up here and you could just smell this air. I cannot even describe it. It is sweet. It is savory. The air, you could taste the salts, you could taste the sugars on your tongue when you're breathing the air up here. The air up here. It really is something else. I think it's very healing for us. Look how cute. Look at that. I'm not sure if you're allowed pets in this section here, but where those huts are. But you'd have to check. Oop. Right in the eye. A lot of people come just to train up here. They're hoping for Mont Tremblant to open up the Ironman again. I know with Corona, they postponed it a couple of years. Last year they couldn't do it. I know my brother-in-law always does the Ironman. Oh, JJ. JJ's tired. Do I have to pick him up? Eh? But yeah, if you get a chance, guys, I think it's important that you, even if you're doing something cheap like a small, like a hiking, not a hiking, like a pitch a tent. Grab a tent, food for 24 hours, your family. But I would definitely say, Take a breather in life and uh, do something that's going to benefit you and heal your body and your mind because when you're up here, <laughs> the only cars you hear are the ones that are going back and forth to their spot and the uh, Mont Tremblant security that's always going around making sure that everything is okay. But, Really, really beautiful place to go. And if you guys haven't come to visit Mont Tremblant here in Canada, when you're able to, it's a must, eh, Erica? Mm -hmm. There's just so much you can do here. So much. Look at the sap, Erica. Look. Look at the resin. This is so good. I'll tell you what you could do with this. Resin. Look at that. This has got a lot of healing properties too, especially if you can't come up here. You uh, you burn some charcoal and you just put this on top and it just, all the properties just infuse your house. Your senses, really, really good. Erica, do you have a little napkin or I have a, bag. a little bag so we could put this in? So I'm excited. I collect this as much as I can. We have little charcoal discs at home. There you go. And that's what we use to. Uh, that's what we use for incense. All right, guys. I don't want to record too much because there's people here and they probably don't want to be on camera. But I'll see you when we get back to our campsite. 
Okay, that's my dragon sauce I make. I'll put a link. It's on my other channel. It's on my cooking channel. But this is what we made today. Lettuce. Mine's got lipstick on it. Tofu. Leftover zucchini and oyster. And my cheese. My cheese. My it's newest cheese. That amazing. tastes like Parmesan. It's amazing. Very sharp tasting cheese. Plain tofu. Not even cooked. Just in a wrap. Whole wheat wrap. Uh, I put some sriracha in there. And then I were drizzling some of my dragon sauce. Sorry for the lipstick, guys, but yes, I'm known to always wear red lipstick. Um, but there you go. That's our lunch. And it's quick. We did it in the back here. It took us two seconds. And uh, lunch is served. All right, guys. See you a little later. We're packed. We got stuff back there and stuff in the back seat, stuff underneath the back seat, and everything's gone. There you go. Until the next time, guys, I'm going to say we love peace you. Out. And Erica says, peace out. JJ, where are you, JJ? JJ says, I'm tired. JJ says, JJ, look at mommy. JJ. JJ doesn't want to say anything. But we do love you. And we thank every one of you who comes to the channel and supports me. Remember guys, when you get a chance, go out and go smell that fresh air out there. Soak up some negative ions. Yeah. We have to try Chi 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 Chi. Hi JJ. You want to say peace out JJ? We're so, I am so zen right now, it's not even funny. We're gonna go home to hustle and bustle. In your Jeep? I would live looking in this part. And tell you how yeah. I feel. And when the morning comes, I will feel that I am brave again. Pass me by, I will smile.